Hello everyone, this is Michelle. And I'm Carl. And today... We're going to be playing one of my all-time favorite games, Banjo-Tooie! So I think I've only played, what, a grand total of half an hour of this game, if even? And I think what is it? most of that was just the cutscene. 37 <laughs> minutes. And from what I remember, the first 15 minutes are cutscene. So, bear with us. This is going to be a bit of a long one. Now, in case anyone isn't familiar with this game, uh, this is actually the sequel to Banjo-Kazooie, which... Which, I mean, preceded this game by, what, two years, maybe? Um, and it was it was made by the company Rare and published by Nintendo, and it was a wildly popular game for the N64. Um, but... Just insanely cute. It has a lot of charm, because yeah. everything is giving googly eyes, and... I, I still think he's kind of a funky design, a green ape. I don't know. He's cool. He's Krungo. He's uh, the witch's minion from the first game. Krungo. 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 Come on. Krungo is a fine name. Nah. Krungo. Krungo. I mean, he could have been called Waffles for all this game cares. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if there are Waffles. It's animated Waffles, because uh, the beehives always looked like Waffles. Yeah. So, we're playing the second game first. A, because I've played less of it, and... B, because apparently it's much better. So, um, where we left off the last time, in the previous game, uh, the witch had been what? She was essentially blasted out of the sky, hence the shifting rock in the previous cutscene. And, you know, of course everybody else assumes that that's the last of her. Um, oh, Kazooie. Yeah, so the titular characters are, of course, Banjo and Kazooie, the bird and the bear on the right, and there's Mumbo, the skull-headed, what? He's a shaman. Shaman, TV okay. Man. And then the freaky-ass mole. <laughs> it's just bottles! Yeah, I'm going with freaky-ass mole. His eyes freak me out. His clothing freaks me out. Well, he has to have his eyeglasses because moles just... Do not have what I say. I always felt like the whole moles can't see very well as a myth. I mean, sure, they don't use their eyes that much on the ground, and they use their noses instead, but it's like, um, bats, for example, have perfectly fine eyesight, they just don't bother with it because it's too dark. Mm -hmm. Thought. Megatron. Or like owls. Everybody assumes that owls. Uh, eyes are actually why they can see so well. But no, it's it's their freaking ears. <laughs> Stop rocking the table. <laughs> uh, I always think just his expression is hilarious. I can't. I mean. I thought you. you you thought it looked like Russell's legs had grown before. Yeah. <laughs> Just on the table from below. Uh. Ban Banjo's face does not convey emotion very well, though. If you notice, he's like happy and smiling, and everything's just rumbling ominously. I still like the 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 secondary animations are fun. Look, the nose bobbing and such. The drill's farting. It is fart powered. Nah, uh, that's just definitely farts. Look at look at <laughs> just the miasma going from the back. <laughs> Nah, clearly it's just vile vapors. Yeah, yeah, that that would be what I would call farts. <laughs> <laughs> that thing, it's just filled, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Though, it strikes me that there aren't any controls, it's just this, like, chamber abyss mm -hmm. that, you know, the witch sister who can't even fit comes out of. Oh, oh blah, blah, blah. There, there's the fuel source <laughs> right now. <laughs> Yep. Whoa! I could I could totally imagine her part powering the thing by the strength <laughs> and power of her farts. Look at, look at 
Is that a cat? Is that a dog? It looks like it's Grumpy Cat's deranged second cousin. No, it, <laughs> that's a dog. That's gotta be a dog. It kind of looks like one of those awful boxer dogs. Bug-eyed and everything. <laughs> Noisy. I think they yeah. wouldn't be able to tell that a drill was plowing through the side of their peaceful little valley. If there was an earthquake going on, A, I don't think any of my coins would still be on my table for gambling. I don't think I'd be in the house anymore. Yeah, those stack very well. I mean, clearly. Well, yeah. Pentagons. I don't think they had any sort of physics engine by oh. this part in game programming. Game physics, apart from, like, going up and down, never really, uh, started until the PS2 era, if I remember right. Uh, remember, what was it, the PS2 game Black? Did you ever hear of that? No? No. Oh, I guess never. you really, never really played, uh, first-person or third-person shooters of any sort. Well, really, we were just a Nintendo family. Yeah. Aside from the Atari from the 70s, no, we only had Nintendo 64 and... Later I like Nintendo games. I always just felt like they're very collectathon-y. I mean, this game is the quintessential collectathon from what I've seen. But I know. I I guess this sort of game holds up a lot better. What, 20 years after it's come out? Nah, it's probably more like 15. But <laughs> oh no, we don't really want to see your pantaloons. Hey. <laughs> No, I, I was actually paying attention to the uh, boot physics, which you've oh. been complaining about in, uh... In every other game <laughs> that's come out in recent yeah, years. They actually jiggle in this one. Ugh. Fancy that. Though, what bothers me the most isn't, you know, the boot physics, so you can see, you know, hideous witches, bloomers, but the fact that, uh, what, Gruntilda? What's her name? Yeah, Grunty. Gruntilda. Oh. Okay. That you can actually see she has a petticoat beneath her rib cage. Mm hmm. Oh, there goes an eyeball. I, I would have thought that those would have decayed first. <laughs> I, I can't get over that dog? Cat? No, it's a cat. I'm gonna call it a dog. It looks kind of like a dog muzzle. Hey, it has better chromia, too. It's kind of a nice touch. Yeah, I, I guess cats are much more famous for that, but I'm still gonna call yeah, it Yeah, go Mumbo! <laughs> he would not win any sort of foot race. <laughs> and off to the castle. Yeah, Wait, they she, have a she's... separate castle? No, yes. I mean, she's just known to run. Okay. Everything. Because, I mean, she, there's her witch's tower, but I thought it was wrecked. Mm -hmm. Also, I thought Mumbo got hit here. I guess not. Nope. Everyone is just ineffective and terrible. Witches can't aim. Mumbo can't run. <laughs> you kind of slide pretty well, if you notice that one. Gas. Can't. <laughs> they really could have added asterisks next to it at the very least. People run into a person that instead of actually gasping or panting, they say gasping there. Well, actually, in, nowadays you find people going lol or lolo. Okay, no, stop that. Uh, no, I know. I will end this video right here if you keep up with that language. No, precisely. That's what people do. I'm glad I don't know a whole lot of people like that. Of course not. The, these are the most casual characters, just absolutely... Just worried, everyone out! Just like, earthquake happens, don't give a shit. Bottles, no! Which is revived from the dead, nobody gives a shit. What are you shit. doing?! Crazy green light, Bottles is like, I'm winning this card game! <laughs> no! Well... Deserves them right, I guess. No, no one deserves that. He was thing. creepy. He's still creepy. <laughs> now, 
I will admit the first time when I saw her pop up and I didn't notice the rib cage, I thought she just turned like white from being underground. So watch. I think they could have done a little bit more with the face. <laughs> I mean, I suppose with your skin and muscles stretched over your face, not that much different. Well, she still has a nose, right? She did have a nose. You don't have bone for a nose. Yeah, I think that's what bothers me. <laughs> like, she shouldn't have a nose, and I think it would be perfect. Like, that guy barely has a nose. Give her that nose. <laughs> I won't complain about it. Also... <laughs> so wait, they just... Abandon him, yep. But she obviously said that she'd be back for him. Why not just take him with in the first place? Because obviously he has to be one of the first characters you encounter. I guess. J.J. Uh, Abrams, why are you <laughs> in this game? <laughs> you didn't work player. for Rare. So, so Mumbo is J.J. Abrams? Is that what this game's trying to tell us? No, no. I, I'm going with that he, option. He, he's just too marvelous. His light is blinding. I, I didn't even notice the lens flare effects a whole lot in the new Star Trek movies. But then somebody pointed it out and it got really obnoxious. Oh. You know, for bottles being burnt and charred, his glasses look uh, pretty normal. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. I mean, Unwell. They, that's, a, that's an understatement right there. There's a bird, a bear, and a skull man. I, Kill Bottles! I love a little halo above his head. I wonder if Bottles is edible. Oh, no. jeez. He has a checker vest? I never noticed that. <laughs> that's terrible. I always thought he had a Hawaiian shirt on. But, that's even worse. Yeah, she was hey. Well, one thing that really bothers me about old games is the text scrolls are slow. I just have trouble with it because they read like four times faster than this. It's like, eh. You see, I prefer to relish every word in my head. Eh. I'd rather digest the content than try and act it out in my head.